Jubalpur English, U.S. also, Hindustani, DBLP, also known as Jubapur, the official spelling until 2006 is a Tier 2 city in the state of Madhya Pradesh, India. It is one of the major cities of Madhya Pradesh. According to the 2011 census, it is the third largest urban agglomeration in Madhya Pradesh, and the country's 30th largest urban agglomeration. It is known for the Duandar Falls and the white marble rocks at Betaghat. Jubalpur is an important administrative, industrial, and business centre of Madhya Pradesh. It is a major education hub in India. The High Court of Madhya Pradesh and several departmental headquarters of the state government are located in Jubalpur. The city has a major military base and is a major centre for the production of arms and ammunition in India, which is the city's primary source of employment. It also has several other smaller industries. The city is a major trading center and producer of forest products, experiencing fast growth in all sectors. Jubalpur is the administrative headquarters of Jubalpur district the second most populous district in Madhya Pradesh and the Jubalpur division. Historically, a center of the Kalachuri and Rajgand dynasties, the city developed a syncretic culture influenced by intermittent Mughal and Maratha reigns. During the early 19th century, it was annexed by British India and renamed as Jubapur and incorporated as a cantonment town. Since Indian independence there have been demands for a separate state of Mahakashal, with Jubalpur its capital. The headquarters of the West Central Railway, Madhya Pradesh Electricity Board, Tropical Forest Research Institute TFRI, and Army Headquarters of Five States, viz. Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Bihar, and Jharkhand, are in Jubalpur. Jubalpur is also the army headquarters for the Grenadier and Jammu and Kashmir Rifles regiments. The city is also the headquarter of one signal training center. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name Jubalpur combines the Arabic word Jabal rock and the Sanskrit word pure city. Though some people mistakenly believe that it was named as Jabalipuram after Saint Jabali, there is no historical, mythological or folklore evidence to support this. The city was known as Vancha's Palace, Garha Mandala or Garha Katanga during the Gond dynasty rule. It was later named Jubalgar, and renamed Jubapur during British rule. In 2006, the Jubalpur Municipal Corporation renamed the city Jubalpur. History Mythology describes three asuras evil spirits in the Jubalpur region, who were defeated by the Hindu god Shiva. Tripurasura being the main asura, gave the city its Puranic name Tripur Tirth. Tripuri region corresponds to the ancient Chedi kingdom of epic era of Mahabharata times, to which King Shishapala belongs. Ashokan relics dating to 300 BCE have been found in Rupnath, 84 kilometers 52 miles north of the city, indicating the presence of the Mauryan Empire 322 to 185 BCE in the region. When the empire fell, Jubalpur became a city-state before coming under the rule of the Satavahana dynasty 230 BCE to 220 CE. After their reign, the region was ruled locally by the Bodhis and the Sinas, following which it became a vassal state of the Gupta Empire 320 to 550. From 675 to 800, the region was ruled by Bamraj Dev of the Kalachari dynasty from Karanbel. The best known Kalachari ruler was Yuvraj Dev I, R, 915 to 945, who married Nola Devi, a princess of the Chalukya dynasty. One of the Kalachari ministers, Golak Simha Kayastha, was instrumental in founding the Chausith Yogini temple near Betaghat. His descendants include Bhoj Simha, who was the Dewan to Sangramsahi R. 1491-1543, Dewan Adhar Simha, who was the Prime Minister to Rani Durgavati R. 1550-1564, and Bayahar Raghuvir Sinha, the last Jagirdar of Jubalpur who reigned until 1947. Topic. Gondwana rule The Gondwana king, Rajay Maidan Shah Madawi of Mandala, r. 1138 1157, built a watchtower and a small hilltop fort at Maidan Mahal, an area in Jubalpur. In the 1500s, the Gond king, Sangram, whose son, Rajay Dalpat Shah Madawi married Rani Durgavati, held Singorgar fort in Sangrampur near Garha, Jubalpur. 
Rani Durgawati was a warrior of the Gond dynasty, famous for her prosperous kingdom. She was well aware of the importance of water conservation and hence she built more than 85 ponds in Jubalpur, mainly Ranatal, Hathatal, Madatal, and Hanumantal. In 1564, during the reign of Veer Narayan, Sangram's grandson, Abdul Majid Harawi, Viceroy of Kara Manikpur in the Mughal Empire, conquered Jubalpur and its surrounding areas. However, the Mughal supremacy in Jubalpur was more nominal than real. In 1698, the Gondwana king, Rajay Raide Shah R. moved his court to the Mandala fort. He secured water sources and built irrigation structures. Later, Gondwana was seized by Nizam R. After Nizam, the Gondwana kingdom was conquered by the Marathas. Maratha rule The Maratha rulers of Sagar, Madhya Pradesh, came to power in about 1781. Around 1798, the Maratha Peshwa governor gave the Nirbhuta Valley to the Bonsal kings of Nagpur, who ruled the area until 1818, when it was seized by the British East India Company after the Battle of Siddhabuddhi. British Raj Under the British Raj, the name Jabalgar became Jubapur and the town was made the capital of the Sagor and Nirbhuta territories part of the northwestern provinces governed by the Agra Presidency. Jubalpur was known for thuggy murders, which were combated by William Henry Sleeman later appointed as the Chief Commissioner at Jubapur and then British resident at Lucknow. The 16th of June 1857 saw the kindling of a rebellion in the cantonment of Jubapur. The 1857 movement was started by the Gondwana king, Rajay Shankar Shah Madawi and the prince Kunwar Righunath Shah Madawi. Both were arrested and imprisoned, and executed on 18 September 1857. In 1861, the Sagor and Nirbhuta territories became part of the new central provinces and in 1903, the central provinces and Berar. In the early 1900s, Jubapur became the headquarters of a brigade of the 5th Division of the Southern Army. A gun carriage factory was established in Jubalpur in 1904. Mahatma Gandhi's longest stay in Jubalpur was in 1933 at the Bayahar Palace of Bayahar Rajendra Simha. Many freedom fighters joined Gandhi's Swadeshi, Swaraj and Satyagraha movements. Those from Jubapur included Ravi Shankar Shukla, Seth Govind Das, Subhadra Kumari Chauhan, Makanlal Chaturvedi, and Dwarka Prasad Mishra. In 1939, the Tripuri Indian National Congress Inc. session was chaired by Subhas Chandra Bose. The Swaraj movement begun under the direction of Lokmanya Tilak. A Congress session was held at Vishnudit Shukla Nagar at Tilwara Ghat, near Jubapur, when Subhas Chandra Bose was elected the Congress president over Gandhi's objections. <laughs> After independence Gandhi's remains were brought to the city after his death. On 12 February 1948, the urn containing his ashes was immersed in the Narmada River at Tilwara Ghat by Ravi Shankar Shukla, Bayahar Rajendra Sinha, Seth Govind Das, and others. In 1950, the central provinces and Berar became the state of Madhya Pradesh, and Shukla became the first chief minister of the Congress-led government. In 1956, Madhya Bharat, Vindhya Pradesh, and Bhopal were merged into the newly formed state of Madhya Pradesh. Jubapur was renamed to Jubalpur, and was chosen to be the state capital, but due to political pressure, Bhopal became the state capital instead. Geography <laughs> 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 India's central point is in the Jubalpur district. The city has an average elevation of 411 meters, 1348 feet. Narmada River passes by this city, which is surrounded by temples and ghats for the visitors. Jubalpur's hills with their variety of minerals draw geologists and archaeologists. The city is surrounded by low, rocky and barren hillocks. Its primary reservoirs, namely, Khandari and Pariyat are in the northeast areas of the city, and water is also drawn from the Narmada River by the Public Health Department. The main crops grown in the region are wheat, rice, pulses, oilseeds, and maize. Bargi Dam, on the Narmada, is used for irrigation, water, and power generation. 
The area is rich in limestone, refractory clay, bauxite, iron ore, manganese and other deposits with some mineral-related industries located in the area. Climate Jubalpur has a humid subtropical climate typical of north-central India Madhya Pradesh and southern Uttar Pradesh. Summer begins in late March, lasting until June. May is the hottest month, with the average temperature exceeding 45 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. Summer is followed by the southwest monsoon, which lasts until early October and produces 889 mm 35 in of rain from July to September. Average annual precipitation is nearly 1,386 mm 54.6 in. Winter begins in late November, and lasts until early March. January is the coldest month, with an average daily temperature near 15 degrees Celsius 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Demographics In the 2011 India census, the Jubalpur city the area covered by the municipal corporation recorded a population of 1,081,677. The Jubalpur metropolitan area urban agglomeration recorded a population of 1,268,848. Economy Topic Agriculture The Narmada River, draining the Sitpura and Vindhya ranges, has helped to develop an agrarian economy in the district. The river originates in the northeastern Sitpura range and flows west, between the ranges towards the Arabian Sea. The Narmada Basin's alluvial soil helps in producing sorghum, wheat, rice, and millet in the villages around Jubalpur. Commercial crops include pulses, oilseeds, cotton, sugar cane, and medicinal crops. During the early 20th century the region became a center of the beedi industry, when two brothers, Mohanlal and Hargavindas Patel discovered that tandu leaves were good for making beedis. Industry Major industries in Jubalpur are garment manufacturing, IT, education, electrical goods, limestone products, building materials, glassware, telephone parts, furniture, foodstuffs, steel structures, cement, tobacco products, industrial safety goods, mechanical engineering, and cinema. Armaments <laughs> <laughs> Vehicle Factory Jubalpur, Grey Iron Foundry, Gun Carriage Factory Jubalpur, and the Ordnance Factory Kamaria manufactures bullets, howitzers, rockets, bombs, mortars, grenades, shells, trucks, mine protected vehicles, and bulletproof vehicles for the Indian Armed Forces, the Paramilitary Forces of India, the Central Armed Police Forces, State Armed Police Forces, and the Special Forces of India. These companies are the city's primary employers. Allied organizations are the Directorate General of Quality Assurance DGQA, responsible for the quality of equipment manufactured by the Ordnance Factories, the Central Ordnance Depot, which stores and supplies equipments and weapons for the armed forces, the 506 Army Base Workshop, which maintains equipment for the armed forces, and the Defense Security Corps, responsible for guarding the Ordnance Factories. These organizations alone employ over 100,000 people. Government and public services Civic administration In 2011, Jubalpur covered an area of 53 square kilometers 20 square miles. The Jubalpur Municipal Corporation, the JMC, is charged with governance of the city's civic and infrastructural assets. The corporation has two wings, deliberative and executive. The head of the executive wing is a municipal commissioner who is responsible for the corporation's day-to-day -day operation and assists the deliberative wing in the decision-making process. The JMC Council has one elected representative corporate from each ward. Council elections, by popular vote, are held every five years. 
A corporate from the majority party is selected as mayor. Jubalpur contributes one member to the Lok Sabha, its current member is Rakesh Singh of the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP. The city sends eight members to the State Legislative Assembly, four from the city Jubalpur Purba, Jubalpur Uttar, Jubalpur Cantonment, and Jubalpur Pasham and four from rural areas of the district. Jubalpur is divided into eight zones, each consisting of several wards. Division headquarters Jubalpur is a divisional headquarters for eight districts, Jubalpur, Sioni, Mandala, Chindwara, Narsingpur, Katni, Dindori and Balagat. The district, which was reconstituted on 25 May 1998, has four tehsils: Jubalpur, Sahora, Patan and Kundam. The city is the headquarters of the Madhya Pradesh State Electricity Board, the Home Guards and other state and central government offices. Topic military establishments The Jubalpur Cantonment is one of the largest cantonments in India. In addition to the ordnance factories, other organizations present in the city include HQ Madhya Bharat Area, the Jammu and Kashmir Rifles Regimental Centre, the Grenadier Regimental Centre, One Signal Training Centre, College of Material Management, Central Ordnance Depot, 506 Army Base Workshop, Military Hospital, HQ Chief Engineer Jubalpur Zone, Military Dairy Farm, and HQ Recruiting Zone. Civilian organizations which are part of the Ministry of Defense are the Cantonment Board, Controller of Defense Accounts, Defense Standardization Cell, and the Canteen Stores Department. Culture Jubalpur has been called the Sanskar Dhani or the cultural capital of Madhya Pradesh by Vinayak Narhari Bhavi. Cultural figures associated with the city include Bayahar Ramanur Sinha, Makanlal Chaturvedi, Harishankar Parse, Bayahar Rajendra Singh, Subhadrakumari Chauhan, Kavi Indra Bahadur Kari, Seth Gavine Das, Rupkumar Soni, Alaknandan Sinha, Arun Shukla, Gyanranjan Srivastava, Raman, Prem Nath, Krishna Raj Kapoor, Kiran Kare, Arjun Rampal, Jaya Bachchan, Adesh Srivastava, Raghavir Yadav and Shalini Pandey. The Narmada River, Gondwana rule, and the Kalachuri and Maratha dynasties made Jubalpur a Gandhism and Hinduism dominated area, although Mughal rule attracted a sizable Muslim population. Jubalpur's culture is related to the agricultural population of the city and surrounding areas. Food and clothing change with the harvest and season. The city has sizable population of Gonds, Marwari, Bengali, Malayali, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, Kannadiga, Marathi, Punjabi people, and Bania people. The Navratri and Dushara festivals are celebrated by residents and visitors from across the state. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Sweets in Jubalpur's local delicacy include dude ka halwa, kalakland, koi ki jalebi, mava bati, koprapak, shrikhand, malpua, amarti, makanvada, etc. Koi ki jalebi, which is quite popular in Madhya Pradesh, was invented by Harprasad Badkal in 1889 at his shop, Badkal Halwai. Other popular local dishes include gakad barda, dal bafla, boot ka keys, rogan josh, and poha. Tourism Jubalpur is an important tourism city in Madhya Pradesh and central India. Notable sites in Jubalpur include Hanumantal Bada Jain Mandir, Maidan Mahal, Duandar Falls and Marble Rocks in Bhedagat, Shiv statue at Kachnar City, etc. The world-renowned tiger reserves like Kana National Park, Bandhavgarh National Park, and Pench National Park can be easily visited via Jubalpur. Hanumantal Bada Jain Mandir is a 17th century Jain temple which appears like a fortress with numerous shikaras. The temple has 22 shrines, Vedas, making it the largest independent Jain temple in India. Maidan Mahala is a fort built by the Gandhi king Madansahi in 1116, which is situated atop a hill in Jubalpur. Kachnar city in Jubalpur is known for a 23 meter high 76 feet Shiva statue housing a cavern with replicas of Shiva lingas from 12 shrines nationwide. The city also houses the Rani Durgawati Museum which was built in 1964 to commemorate Rani Durgavati. 
The museum hosts ancient relics, sculptures and a collection of items related to Mahatma Gandhi. Dumna Nature Reserve Park is an ecotourism site open to the public which is located in the Jubalpur district. It houses the Kandari Dam, which is a source of drinking water to the city and has many crocodiles. The Bargi Dam Reservoir near Jubalpur is known for boat rides. Tourist attractions in Jubalpur also include the boat rides on Narmada River, which is 15 kilometres away from the city, especially in moonlight. The journey through Narmada reveals the beautiful marble rocks, where the river has carved the soft marble, creating a beautiful gorge of about 8 kilometres in length, and the Duandar Falls, which is one of the most famous tourist destinations in Jubalpur. In the 45-minute ride though the river, the boatman describes various spots in a sing-song manner. He also tells the story of Bura, the crocodiles, and many others that lurk downstream. Lamheda Ghat and Tilwara Ghat are famous ghats on the banks of Narmada River. The Tilwadeshwar Temple is located near the Tilwara Ghat and it is also the place where Gandhi's ashes were immersed. Other popular tourist destinations near the city include Chausith Yogini Temple, Badagat Fall, Badbada Fall, Gura Fall, Osho Amritham, Pasanari Ki Madhya which is a historic Jain pilgrimage near Nataji Subhash Chandra Bose Medical College, and Nandishwardeep Jain Temple. Transport Topic Air The 130 hectare 310 acre Jubalpur Airport JLR also known as Dumna Airport is about 20 kilometers 12 miles away from the city center and flight services are provided by Air India SpiceJet and Zoom Air Daily service is available to New Delhi Mumbai Hyderabad and Kolkata Topic Rail Jubalpur Junction Railway Station, headquarters of the West Central Railway, has direct service to Mumbai, New Delhi, Chennai, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Nagpur, Surat, Pune, Patna, Ludhiana, Jammu, Vasco da Gama, Amravati, Coimbatore, Bhopal, Indore, Gwalior, Agra, Mathura, Jaipur, Varanasi, Kanpur, Badodara, Bhubaneswar, Lucknow, Puri, Allahabad, Nashik, Raikat, Guwahati, Ambikapur, Balaspur, Tatanagar and Raipur. The line from Gandia to Balaghat and Jubalpur to Nainpur has been converted to broad gauge with daily passenger services. Jubalpur was the terminus of Indian Railways train number no. 1, the Satpura Express, renumbered train number no. 10001 in the five digit numbering system. This train stopped service due to the upgrade to broad gauge. In addition to the Jubalpur main station, the city's Maiden Mahal station serves inner city passengers, and the Kachpura goods shed transports heavy freight and iron ore to port cities. A Jubalpur metro rail project is proposed for the metropolitan area. Important trains that originate from here 12061, Bhopal Habibganj, Jubalpur Jan Shatabdi Express 12121, Madhya Pradesh Sampark Kranti Express 12187, Jubalpur, Mumbai CST Garabrath Express Road Jubalpur is connected by road to Varanasi, Nagpur, Bhopal, Jaipur, Raipur, Allahabad, Hyderabad, Balaspur and Bangalore. India's longest national highway, National Highway 7, runs through the city, and National Highway 12 to Jaipur originates in Jubalpur. Many roads are being upgraded to four-lane highways. Bus service is available to cities in Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Chhattisgarh, with direct service to Indore, Nagpur, Bhopal, Varanasi, Raipur, Amravati, Chandrapur, and Allahabad. Topic education Jubalpur became a centre of higher education by the end of the 19th century, with institutions such as the Hikkarini Sabha, established by local citizens in 1868, and Robertson College now GOVT. Model Science College and Mahakashal Arts and Commerce College which was established in Sagar in 1836 and moved to Jubalpur in 1873. Jubalpur Engineering College was the first technical institution in central India established by the British on 7 July 1947. 
Scholars, authors and politicians such as Ravi Shankar Shukla, Rajneesh, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi and Gajanan Madhav Muktibad have emerged from the Hitakarini institutions. The Indian Institute of Information Technology, Design and Manufacturing, Jubalpur was founded in 2005. Jubalpur is known for many universities such as Jawaharlal Nehru Agricultural University, Madhya Pradesh Medical Science University, Nanaji Deshmukh Veterinary Science University, Rani Durgavati University, and Indian Institute of Information Technology, Design and Manufacturing, Jubalpur. National Law University, Jubalpur, is planned. Jubalpur also hosts a GOVT. Medical college named Nataji Subhash Chandra Bose Medical College and a private medical college named Sukh Sagar Medical College and Hospital. Media Several television news channels have branches in the city. Various cable operators operate digital cable TV system in city. Newspapers National and local newspapers are published in Jubalpur in Hindi and English. Radio Radio stations in Jubalpur include Akashvana Jubalpur broadcasts on 801 kHz AM with a 200 kW transmitter. Sports The city has two stadiums, Wright Town Stadium and Rani Tal Stadium. It is generally accepted that while serving at Jubapur in 1875, Colonel Sir Neville Chamberlain developed a new variation of black pool by introducing coloured balls into the game in the British Army officers' mess. This game was later dubbed snooker. Notable people Rani Durgavati Prem Nath Jaya Bachchan Arjun Rampal Raghavir Yadav Adesh Srivastava Shalini Pandey Subhadra Kumari Chohan Kamta Prasad Guru Osho Rajneesh Maharshi Mahesh Yogi Harishankar Parse G.D. Bakshi Ram Kinkar Upadhyay Abani Mukherjee Topic See also Jubalpur district Indian Ordnance Factories Tropical Forest Research Institute